Hey guys and welcome back to the channel Platinum Bricks 95 and we're back again with another Lego Marvel review. Firstly, just before we do get into the video, if you would not mind, please like the video as it really helps the channel out, helps me out, shows you enjoy this sort of content and yeah, helps me get on the YouTube algorithm and also if you're not subscribed, maybe think about clicking that subscribe button but if you don't want to, I totally understand. So then guys, what is today's video? Well, I think you can tell by the box in front of me, but I have titled this video a little bit different. We're gonna be calling old Lego Marvel set reviews or any old Lego set reviews. We're gonna call them retro reviews now as, well, they're not current, therefore they're retro. So yeah, I guess the first retro review or retro Lego Marvel review on the channel. So guys, the set in question today that we are doing a retro review on is Lego set number 76206, the Iron Man figure, retailing for £39.99 in the United Kingdom and coming with 381 pieces. But one of the cool things and fun facts about this, if you were silly enough, let's say, let's use the word silly for sure, if you were silly enough to buy the giant Hulkbuster, so Lego set number 76210, the giant Hulkbuster. The cool thing about this Lego set is this is actually the figure that fits inside it. So yeah, this Lego set is compatible with the giant terrible Hulkbuster. So then guys, that's the set we're going to be reviewing. That's the set we're going to be looking at. I guess the only thing left to do is take a look at the set. Let's go! All right then guys, well, it is the buildable figure in question. As you can see, it is here. And don't worry, I will take you in for a closer look because obviously the camera is set up the way that it is. Now, before we do actually take a look at the set itself, I will just give you a little spin here so you can get an idea of what he looks like. Um, I will say that this buildable figure here, the Iron Man figure, I know it's called the Iron Man figure, but for me, I call them buildable figures because that's essentially what they are. They remind me a lot of Action Man. In fact, roll the Action Man clip now. Battle Force, Warpaint Warrior and Dr. X. Again, another bit of a giveaway as to how old I am as Action Man was huge when I was a child and doesn't exist anymore. Now, the cool thing about this is this is the first one we ever did get, like a buildable figure, like I did say. And since then, we have in fact got, well, you're seeing them now, but they are, we did in fact get Venom, Spider-Man and Miles Morales buildable figures that did come out after this one. So, and also, uh, in about a month and a half, we're getting the Ant-Man buildable figure, which again, you're probably seeing a picture of now. So, this is the buildable figure that, in fact, launched all of the buildable figures. And I've got to say, straight off the bat, I will say, I'm going to save it for my pros and cons, but I will say straight off the bat, I actually am a fan of these buildable figures, because like I said, they remind me of Action Man, and that was huge when I was growing up. However, I've waffled on for long enough, got the information out that I wanted to get out, so let's take a look at this Lego set. Now, I'll bring him in close so you can have a look. Now, straight away, this is a printed piece, and not only a printed piece, a very nice printed piece, I've got to be honest, and this piece here, they tend to use that for heads now, like Spider-Man's got that head piece, and I think Miles Morales does as well. And again, when we do get the Ant-Man, I'm going to do a video about all five of these and sort of rank and review them all as all in one go so you can get an idea as to what they all look like. However, this is a printed piece. Every other single thing you see that has detailing on it, like here, here, pretty sure on the arms here, even on the side of his head here, these things here on the chest, maybe even on the back as well. Yes, you did guess correctly. They are, in fact, stickers, so minus points for that. Now, again, you, you've got to expect that with LEGO Marvel these days. You really do. I mean, most of them do come with a lot of stickers, so that is what it is. But yeah, I showed you the head, so I guess I'll show you. I think I don't know what these are called in planes, but you know when a plane's flying along and it pops the things out to sort of, like, decrease drag? I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Um, but I think that's what they are meant to be. 
However, I actually like them. I think they're pretty cool. They're fine. They're just on ball joints here, so you can maneuver them. Now, obviously, he does have shoulder epaulets, which obviously complete the build, because if you take them off, he looks very malnourished. So I do actually like the inclusion of shoulder epaulets. Now, down to the torso, and I will show you the back before we get onto the arms. You got the torso here, nice shape. I love this design here, how they've used the same three pieces, clipped them all on, and they've created this sort of ridged stomach look. I really do like that. And then if you turn it around, oh, something's broken off. Uh, again, wait till the pros and cons and you'll hear them. Uh, you know, on the back here, what I do like is they haven't actually just left the back completely sort of bland. I do like that. They've added detailing here and here. And again, if you really wanted, you could in fact turn these around. Obviously, don't pull the whole thing off like I just did. But you can in fact turn them around and have them like that. I wouldn't advise it though, but you can do if you really want. And then you've got a sticker here, sticker here, sticker here. I like the use of the gold there as well. Very subtle uses of gold. A much redder Iron Man than a gold one. And I've got to say, I do like that. Now, for you who don't know, or the eagle eye viewers who do know, I imagine you know what this is for. Now, I've got to be honest, this is one of my favourite things about this. It's not it's not exactly coming through right now because I've got so many lights on. But if I'm being honest, basically that is a light. And honestly, if you just do pop these two pieces off here, you can in fact put a sort of 1x4 or 2x4 plate across here and it will permanently be on. And if you did want to take some cool photos, you can do that with um, the chest piece on. But I just like the fact they haven't ignored it. That's something I want to say. I love the fact they haven't ignored the fact that he uses his uni beam from his stomach and they have, in fact, provided you with a light to do that. You can see it, in fact, blinking there. So, yeah, a very cool feature on that front. Now, the arms are where I have a little bit of a problem, if I'm being honest, because his arms or his forearms can only move that way. His hands, though, do have manoeuvrability, but where his forearm only goes up and down, not the biggest fan, if I'm being completely honest. However, his arm is on a ball joint, so you do have a lot of mobility. Again, more gold on the arms, but not too much to make it overpowering, so I have to give credit there. Now, yeah, like I said, both of the arms are the same. They don't have anything going on, no stud shooters for once, which is actually quite refreshing, even though it will probably get marked down for that in my pros and cons but yeah the arms are okay i just don't like the fact this is all he can do with them however i guess it is kind of realistic because yes you can twist them like that and like that but you've got the hands to do that and of course the hands do in fact sort of have repulsors on them as well so you can pose him and i will say that again i'll save it for the pros and cons now you can, in fact, completely 360 his body if you want to, and I do like that feature. So you have actually got some playability and poseability. You can have him at a different angle here, there, and everywhere. I do, in fact, like that. Then you come on to sort of the groin area, <laughs> I guess so. Um, but yeah, just fine, 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 fine. And as you can see, his legs are as well on ball joints well the tops of his legs are and the, his knee joint is in fact on clicker studs yeah now they have in fact used a lot of gold on the legs but again not enough to make it overpowering so i have to give credit there now obviously both legs on ball joints like i did just say and both knees on clickers here now this thing yeah Basically, that is the main problem with this thing, but you will see in the pros and cons, like I keep saying. And again, legs are fine, and I will say this straight away, structurally not bad, really not bad. For a figure, not bad. When you compare it to some mini mechs that fall over when you literally look at them, really not bad in terms of structure. And I will say this, you can get him in some cool positions, like he's about to have a fight and stuff, using his repulsors, you can twist him and make it look like he is about to fight. And I do like that. A lot of posability and maneuverability with this Lego set. So I have to give it credit there. And then when it comes to the feet, they're on ball joints that can go left and right and a little bit back and forward, but mainly left and right, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I'd rather him be able to go more forward and backwards than left and right. But maybe that is why his legs are so, in fact, structurally sound. And I will say this, if you do just take a look at this set, I'm gonna pick the camera up, one, two, three, here we go. 
If you do just take a look at this set, like in general, he does stand on his own two feet very well. I've got to be honest with you, he really does stand on his own two feet well. And I guess credit has to be given for that because a lot of builds like that, especially in Lego Marvel, really do fall apart very quickly and are not structurally sound. But you can you can basically stand him up straight or pose him or whatever, and you shouldn't actually have too many problems, which, like I said, is a very rare occurrence for Lego Marvel. So then, guys, that was a closer look at said Lego set. Now, normally they go on a lot longer, and I like to talk through the minifigures, but just in case you don't know, this doesn't come with any minifigures. So, you know, you have seen pretty much everything that comes in this Lego set, with the exception of one thing. Now, we did, in fact, get one of these with Groot. In fact, I'll grab it right this second so you can actually see. So this is the one we got with Groot. If you haven't seen that review, go and check it on the channel. Plug, 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 plug. Um, but this is the Iron Man one. And as you can see, it's lovely. I love these things. And yes, they are stickers, but I just love it. I love having a little plaque next to my build showing you what they are and what they're based on. Now, obviously, you can see here. I'll bring them in a bit closer. But you can read what's on there. He's Mark 43. It's a special Iron Man suit. It's an autonomous prehensile propulsion. I guess I got that. Six foot five, even though Tony Stark's not six foot five. Uh, sentry mode, infrared, supersonic flight, and new element arc reactor, which is what this fella is here. So yeah, you do get a very cool plaque with it, and I do really like that feature, and I love that they've been adding these throughout the Infinity Saga wave. I've got to be honest, it's one of my favourite things they've introduced. So yeah, guys, that is a closer look at this Lego set. There's not much more to show you, really. I mean, you've seen everything it is, and this Lego set really does do what it says on the tin. But I guess now it's time to get into my pros and cons and rating out of 10. Let's go! All right then, guys. Well, like I did just say, that was a closer look at said Lego set. Now we are going to get into my pros and cons, I think today we'll start with the cons. Okay, so con number one, not something that can be helped, but still I don't like it. My main downside with these sort of sets is they don't come with a little minifigure that's comparable to them. That is my biggest gripe, included in, I'm talking about the Spider-Man one, the Venom one, and the Miles Morales one, and the Ant-Man one that's coming out, even though you do get a little Ant-Man, sort of tiny like this. I would like a minifigure that comes with these, and that is just my opinion, but I would. I would really like uh, a little minifigure with these, and 40 quid, this Lego set is 40 great British pounds, so a little minifigure would go a long way, in my opinion. The second pro, guys, is something that I always bang on about. Little bits do break off, unfortunately. It is, uh, you know, it's one of my biggest gripes. However, I'll give it credit and say that it's not many pieces that do. But, the, I mean, these bits come off all the time, like all the time. I've no, Like you saw in the video, the shoulder epaulets literally, or shoulders rather, do just pull off. His fingers do break off, to be expected on the finger front. Uh, but these things here, which cover up the joint here, whilst a nice addition, do something different. Please, for the love of Christ, do something different. Because genuinely, they break off all the time and it is very infuriating. So guys, I guess the third and final con is something, again, that I mention all the time on the channel. You know it, you hate it, I hate it. Lego stickers. Okay, this thing's plastered in them. It's just plastered in them. And even if you compare them, again, I'll keep going back to them because they are so prevalent. Um, if you go to the Spider-Man ones, I don't think any of them came with any stickers. So yeah, with this one having so many stickers, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not. But again, it's Lego Marvel. Everything's covered in stickers. So I guess, you know, it, it, it is what it is. So guys, that was the cons. On to the good things, the pros, the things I do actually really like about this minifigure. Minifigure? This Lego build. Let's go with that. So, pro number one for sure has to be the fact that it's a buildable figure. Now... I know what a lot of you are thinking, and it seems to be a recurring theme throughout the LEGO community ever since this came out, and definitely again since the Spider-Man one came out. People don't like these. 
People really don't like these, and I can get it as an ad adult collector. I wouldn't really be that sort of into these, I guess, if they weren't basically buildable action figures, which is essentially what they are. Now, something I maybe should have uh, mentioned in my cons, which I didn't, doesn't have any play features, really. It has the brick that lights up, but that is it. But yeah... People really don't like the fact that it's a sort of action figure. I love it. I want one for every single character in the MCU. That would be awesome. And the fact that we're getting an Ant-Man one just tells me they're planning on doing a lot more of these. And I know you might not be excited, but I definitely am. Okay, so the second pro is actually a very small inclusion. I'll hold you right up to the camera and do it. Bosh, 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 bosh. I love that. Okay, because Marvel and, well, Marvel, sorry, Lego didn't need to include that. Do you know what I mean? Nine times out of ten, you would have just got this piece here. That's his uni beam. But even though you're not seeing it for the best, the fact that he does have a light brick shows they actually care about this. And again, goes back to that point that I think we're going to be getting a hell of a lot more of these. So, yeah, I love the fact there's a light brick. I really do. Now, on to the third and final pro, and I'm going to be honest, guys, it's almost sort of like a contradiction slightly. I said it doesn't have any play features, and apart from the light brick, it really doesn't. However, the manoeuvrability is amazing. Like, you can do everything with this Iron Man. I mean, you can have him spinning like he's going to kick someone. You can make it so he's got a fist like he's about to whack someone, you know, and you can pose it like he's shooting his hand lasers. And yeah, I love that. I really do. Like I said, it's a buildable action figure. It's a buildable action man. Run the clip again. Battle Force, Warpaint Warrior and Dr. X. Greatest hero of them all. No debate in my eyes. Anyway, I love that about them. And I love the fact you can, it is just an action figure. And I love the maneuverability. I love, again, limited on the arms. So that's the only thing. This part of the arms, I don't like the fact they can't sort of, you know, be a bit more flexible but the whole arm can spin if you want it to the wrist can spin so you can look past that and say that it really does have good maneuverability is structurally sound which i haven't mentioned yet and yeah i just think it's really good it, it, it might just be me but i really like it so yeah guys those were the pros and cons definitely get down in the comments and let me know if i'm being an idiot or talking rubbish because i have been known to be an idiot and also talk rubbish so yeah, it is what it is. However, we're now going to get on to the rating out of 10. And it's pretty easy for me. It really is. Now, I do want to say this quickly. And it's very boring, I know. But, like, when people do sort of 1 to 10, 5 is the average. 6 for me is average. If you get below 6, that's not good. Okay? A 6 is average. So, if you, if you get a 6 out of 10, it's fine. But if you get a bit lower than that, it can sort of five can sort of be like, well, it's closer to being bad. Six is more like, well, it's okay. Seven is it's uh, is getting good, right? Um, so yeah, I do just want to preface that if you get lower than six, things are not looking good for you. However, this Lego set is getting a very, very deserved, in my opinion, seven out of ten. Yes, it is because it's good. Because it's good, in my opinion. Now, again, I might be unpopular for having that opinion. I don't really care. It's my own opinion. So, yeah, I like this. And again, if you're watching this and you're not a kid and you're an adult, tell me you wouldn't have loved something like this as a kid. Because all we had, or all I had, especially, I know some of you didn't even have this. All I had growing up was Bionicles. And these are... This right. Well, that doesn't really help make my point, does it? Um, I was going to say... This is definitely better than a Bionicle if his leg stays on. Crikey. Um, but yeah, it is. It's a better action figure than the Bionicles. It really is. Again, Bionicles used to have one leg piece. So yeah, for me, a 7 out of 10 is definitely good. And I will be very happy if they continue doing things like this. I would like them to include a minifigure in the set, though. So that would be the only thing. But yeah, 7 out of 10. I think it's worthy of it. So then, guys, there you have it. That was my retro review. We'll go with that title. Yeah, that was my retro review on this LEGO Marvel Infinity Saga set 76206, the Iron Man figure. Again, get down in the comments. Let me know what you think of this LEGO set. Let me know if you agree with the 7 out of 10. Maybe I've been a bit too generous. Perhaps I have, but I don't think I have. I think I've been 
pretty on the money. Okay, an argument could be made for six, but I genuinely think it's a seven out of ten. Now on to the boring stuff, guys. I do apologise. Please like the video, as I did state at the start of the video. It really does help me, and it shows you're into this sort of content. So yeah, guys, if you could drop a like on the video, I'd be greatly appreciative of it. Also, sub to the channel if you're not already sub, but if you don't want to, I totally understand. Although I will say, if you do sub to the channel, I'm not going to flood your inbox. Okay, guys, I won't uh, flood your sub feed. I do a video every three days, and you might get one short in between them. So yeah, drop me a sub if you want to. But if you don't want to, I totally understand. And get down in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this video, what you think of this Lego set, what you think of me, what you think of the rating out of 7 out of 10, and if you agree with my pros and cons, because I'd be very interested to hear your guys' opinions. Just finally, before we do go, please go down in the description and check out my Instagram and TikTok. They are linked down there. I'm posting daily on Instagram at the moment. So go and check that out if you want to see a lot of photos of Lego Marvel, Lego Marvel minifigures and what I'm up to in my day-to-day -day life. And while you're there, check out my TikTok as well. All right then, guys. Well, there you have it. That is, in fact, the end of the video. All that's left to say to you guys is thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support on the channel. I appreciate everyone who interacts with my content, everyone who watches the videos. I just want to give you a huge shout out because, really, it means so much to me. And, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Good.